Hey, give me the weed. <laughs> yeah, he's staring at my Eevee's tail. You better respect the tail. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part three of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So, we are about to enter our first little mini dungeon, which you should all know by now. And uh, this girl's basically telling us that same type of attack bonus exists. If you use a poke, if your Pokemon uses a move that's the same type as itself, it will get the move will get a boost. So that's particularly cool. Are you going into Viridian Forest? It's like a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Yeah, don't worry, fam. I got this. And here we are, the Viridian Forest. Where this game's lighting effects are sure to show. And the frame rate, not the frame rate! No! <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna even defend this one. Game Freak didn't even attempt to, to patch in the frame rate. They just rather have things the way they are. Okay, why is... <laughs> okay, how? Because in my experiences with this game, Kakuna is always like... You know, harder to find in Viridian Forest, but... Wow. And also, it's, and also it's counterpart Metapod, so... Yeah! <laughs> cool! Yeah, very cool! Uh, oh, dang it! We didn't even get it! Also, yeah, next time we catch a Pokemon, I'll elaborate more on what, you know, on why we get those bonuses. Able to move only very slightly. When endangered, it may stick out its stinger and poison its enemy. Ooh. Spoopy. Very spoopy indeed. However, I don't want this in my party, but, you know, I'll keep it in my party for the time being. So that I can hopefully get Poppy up to speed. Hey, do you have a big Pikachu? Well, do I have bigger Pikachu? Because that's what I do. <laughs> Look at the last. <laughs> Another little detail that I appreciate is the fact that, you know, these trainers are imitating their original sprites, which is adorable. <laughs> it's just great. Either way, we're going to swap out to uh, Eevee right here. So that we can deal with this quickly. Because, you know, Eevee's level 9. We're good. We are okie dokie. And there we go. <laughs> Ratata dead. Level 10. Oh, he wants to learn double kick. Oh, the forbidden move. Ooh, we're gonna give her get tackle. Ooh. Because you know, Pokemon can't learn more than four moves at a time. Oh no, really? Yeah, really. And I'm gonna steal your shit. <laughs> yeah, we steal their shit. Oh, Pikachu! Yes, lucky for you, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu players who want another Pikachu. There you are right there. In Viridian Forest, you'll be able to find yourself a peak you'll be able to find yourself other Pikachu. So that hopefully whenever you get the chance, you'll be able to evolve other Pikachu into Raichu. And there it is. There it is. Now about these bonus multipliers. So, based on how you do in the battle in catching Pokémon, you'll be able to get more bonuses for, you know, getting experience. So if it's a new Pokemon, I will count that. Excellent throw, first throw, you know, those are self-explanatory. And the technique bonus, which I don't even know how that is since spinning your Pokeball doesn't really exist. But, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. It's all good in the hood. And once again, catching Pokemon, very helpful, especially if they're new. This forest-dwelling Pokemon stores electricity in its cheeks, you'll, so you'll feel a tingly shock if you touch it. 
Very good indeed. Oh, okay. And here we have something particularly, you know, a little bit special. Well, not really a little bit special since they're kind of common, but if you see, if you see a little aura around Pokemon, that means they're of a different size. So if you see a blue aura around, you know, a certain Pokemon, or at least around a Pokemon, then they'll be tiny. If you see a red one, they'll be large. And why are those important? They're not really that important, but, you know, you'll get a sizable bonus from... But you'll get a bonus added to the bonus multiplier from, you know, catching the Pokemon of a different size. So yeah, that's kind of important. Also, it also counts, you know, large Pokemon and small Pokemon at the same time, so... Yeah, I didn't really actually mention that, but... The Pokedex not only count... Not only counts, you know, Pokemon that you catch, but also counts for this game, you know, what height they could poss what height they could possibly be. So, like the standard height of you know any given Pokemon are on the left. However, for your personal records, the number of Poke the number of species, the number of that same Pokemon you caught will be displayed as well as its height and weight. So, the smallest I've caught a cod was an eight-inch Pidgey. So. Yeah, they can be of a different size. I don't think it's really... What?! Are you kidding me?! <laughs> Are you kidding me?! Are you see? Okay, this actually makes it a little bit easier then. <laughs> Are you serious?! Are you freaking serious?! Uh, Beedrill! Dude! <laughs> Are you actually kidding me?! Dude, a freaking me. <laughs> okay, in all my experience with Pokemon Let's Go, I've never, I've never seen, you know, a Beedrill pop up in Viridian Force. Never, but here it is. Here it is. And there we go. Got it. I wonder if also Butterfree also does that too. Like, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, effectively, in just a little under, like, a video, I've already gotten all of the Weedle family. Just, Jesus. I got a Weedle in the last episode, I got a Kakuna in this episode, and now I have, you know, a Beedrill in this episode. What the shit? It has three poisonous stingers on its forelegs and its tail. They are used to jab its enemy repeatedly. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. That is so good. That is so good. Okay, let's see it, actually. Also, level 6. And, yeah. Jesus Christ. Level 6, and it already has Twin Medial and Pack? Okay. Okay, okay. That's interesting. Alright. Okay, I probably won't use it now, though, because... <laughs> I already have, you know, what I need anyway, but, you know, it's cool. It's fine. I know I haven't made any significant progress here, but I'm just trying to catch all these Pokemon that I possibly can, like this friggin' Metapod right here. Oh my god. So many of these Pokemon to catch. See? This is what this whole game is basically all about. Just trying to get as much Pokemon as you can. The game really, really encourages you to do so. And also, the game really, really encourages you to just break out of the ball. And also run away. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to get a Metapod registered in the Pokedex anyway in like two seconds. So, yeah. <laughs> but I swear, if any other Butterfree, come, if Butterfree comes on, then I'm going to... I'm going to scream, man. Alright, you got a Wii do So... We're gonna bring up. Uh, we're gonna bring up Pope. We're gonna bring up Pope. <laughs> dream this. I had a Tora had a dream the size of Pope. I don't even know how it is, but you know what I mean. Really? It begins. It begins. So yeah, I'm freaking poisoned. That basically means every turn. I lose HP. 
But that doesn't really matter anyway, because it really only happens in battle now. Thankfully. Because, you know, poison has basically been, you know, removed as a status in the overworld at this point. Where I'm like, thank God. Really? Only nine exper- Okay! Cool. Before I knew it, I lost! Yeah, give me your $36 and your three Pokeballs there, buddy. And thus our Poppy became Poppy QT. <laughs> if only the symbols exist. Hardens its shell to protect itself. However, a large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell. But wait, wouldn't that be how 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 Metapod evolves into Caterpie anyway? Evolves into Caterpie? What? No, evolves into Butterfree? Wouldn't that be how that works? I don't know. Either way, uh, let's actually make progress in Viridian Forest now because, uh, we just been standing, we've been just wasting our time just catching Pokemon. Get a tiny mushroom, and back there we got, you know, five Pokeballs, so, really useful. Um, I'm gonna have another Pokemon, actually, uh. No, wait, what am I doing? I should probably get an antidote out there. And by the way, this is our items pack. So, as you can see, the Pokemon box is over there, medicine pocket, TM case. Power up pocket, which basically means all battle items, or items for specifically powering up your Pokemon. Battle pocket, which is basically used for battle. Catching pocket, which is your catching items, including this Pinyap Berry. So that basically means if you feed the wild Pokemon that, that means you'll be able to get, you know, an item drop easier. And you get your clothing trunk, which we should probably actually change clothes, actually. I should give it a sports cap. Give my Eevee a sports cap. Sportswear. And then, as for myself, nothing. And of course, you have your candy jar. Once we get a sizable amount of Pokemon, I'll explain what candy does. And believe me, it's going to be broken as hell. Alright, so let's see. What do we got in this item? Antidote. Okay, good. I actually did need that. No, not potion. Antidotes. There we go. There you go, video game. That'll do. Wait, what? Was that another Beedrill? I heard another Beedrill. Yeah, that was another Beedrill. Uh, I'm gonna catch it real quick. Yeah, it's real cool that you're all the way up there. Yeah, so, as you can plainly see, some Pokemon get really creative in their movements. And, uh, that's where I kind of have, you know, a little bit of gripes with throwing Pokeballs with the Joy-Con. It's the fact that I haven't actually figured out how to aim. Well, if you're playing in handheld mode, it's perfectly fine. Like, you can use the gyroscope feature. Or, better yet, just use the left control stick. It's fine. But when you're actually playing on the TV, I have literally no idea how to aim it. I don't know if it does it automatically. I don't know if I have to throw my Joy-Con in like the opposite direction. But I'm just doing it just for kicks, and I'm and I still don't know if it works properly. Like I still don't know how this all works, but it kind of just is what it is. And oh my God, can this catch already? Because I really, really want to. I really, really want to catch this thing for the experience. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, okay. Let's just... Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Except that bothers me! Hey, you have Pokemon, right? Come on! Let's battle him. Come on, let's battle him. Come on. Rick! I heard that's Patrick's name. I don't know. 
It's ti I'm tired. It's 11.30. And I've been up for like 12 hours. Let's go. <laughs> well, well over 12 hours anyway. So let's do it. And you know what's really awesome? Because of the fact that my screen size has changed to 100% because I have to for recordings. It kind of looks like on my TV, um, Poppy's name is cut off. So it's literally Oppy. <laughs> and it looks like I have four Pokemon rather than five. So that's cute. No, Caterpie can't hack it. Which is kind of weird because the original name for that was... Uh, wait, do you have a Charger Block bag? Huh. Neat. But it's kind of weird because the original line for that was Caterpie can't cut it, but now it's Caterpie can't hack it. I mean, okay. You like, hack and cut are sort of the same thing. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, but I ran out of them. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Yes, indeed. You can't have too many Pokeballs. Except in games where they actually do matter. Hey, do you know Bulbasaur appear in the forest? No, I don't, actually. How interesting. Maybe we might run into one. Could you listen to what I have to say, please? No. How about no? Because I just kind of, sort of, you know, destroyed your Nidoran female. I'm sorry about that. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry in the slightest. But yeah, what that girl says is true, actually. Because you can actually find Bulb... Wait, was that Bulbasaur? No, it wasn't. Uh... Because what that girl says is true. You can actually find Bulbasaurs in Viridian Forest. So remember how I said, you know, variety exists? Well, variety exists. Even though it's the original 151 Pokemon, there's still, like, well over 100. That may not seem like much, but for Kanto, it's pretty damn good. Hey, Doug. Hey, new Doug. How you doing, nude Doug? Huh? I got no other Pokemon to battle with! Yes. You don't. Because you're a fool. You're a fool to challenge me! A single-minded fool! Wahahaha! Evil laugh. Yes! And by the way... Yes, those red aura indicate huge Pokemon, so... Yeah, if you want to get those big, big old Weedles, you can. Either way, at this point, I'm going to start cutting out, you know... Uh, I'm, I'm going to start cutting out, you know, not required battles, so... Yeah, wait, what did I run into? Oh, it's just Weedoo. Thankfully, running away is as simple as that. Just press the B button... And the game will give you the option to say, do you want to run away? And it's like, yes. And then, you know, you just run away. Now, uh, before the end of Viridian Forest, though, I do want to find... I do want to try to find a Bulbasaur, though. Because, uh, you know, that's what the game says you can do. The game says that you can indeed find Bulbasaurs in Viridian Forest, so... I do want, I want to at least try to find a Bulbasaur, you know, before we get out of here. Either way, this is a required battle, so we do have to beat up lost, last Jocelyn. And two gusts should just basically take this Pidgey down. Your battle was right on the target. Right on the target indeed. Throw a Pokeball to hit the center. You know, the center of those two rings, right? Yes. I'm well aware of that, yes. Also, um, you can try to you can try to see or you can try to hear what Pokemon you might find based on the cry, so I'm gonna list it out for that. We found a lore. So, that's going to help out 
actually. Uh, where is it? Actually, uh, oh, it's right here. So lures are basically the opposite of repels. This glass bottle of perfume makes it so that rare Pokemon are more likely to appear. So we're going to use it on that. So basically this is akin to repels, except for the fact that, uh, you know, while repair, while repels, you know, make it so that, you know, you um, re keep Pokemon off of you, lures will help you find more rare Pokemon. Of course, with that, that means, you know, you're going to be finding Pokemon everywhere because, God, it, it seems like I find, I find all these Pokemon. Oh, my God. I've barely had any of these Pokemon counting me for a while, and I've barely used lures in my time. So, yeah, it could get a little bit annoying for in that regard. Just trying to get through an area, and then all of a sudden, bam, you know find yourself surrounded by Pokemon. Unfortunate as they may be, that's just gonna have to be, you know, the gist. Either way, our last trainer is a level 3 Metapod. Oh, that poor, poor orphan. Assuming that, you know, that Metapod is a child, never mind. I give! You're good at this! I am indeed very good at this. In fact, you could say, I'm the master. I am a master of my craft. Either way, I'm going to find a Bulbasaur. And yeah, just because there are no more random encounters doesn't mean... Doesn't mean that uh, any rare Pokemon are, you know, suddenly really, really easy to find, by the way. Okay, how come more Beedrill and Pikachu appear more for me than Bulbasaur's god? Simple and to the point. Bulbasaur did not show up. I've had more Pikachus and Beedrills than I've had Bulbasaurs. Which, you know, is weird. Because every other playthrough that I've had with this game, like all two of them, it means that, you know, I found a Bulbasaur at least once. Once. But apparently, just not today. Not today. But that's okay, because this video is going to end up, you know, coming to an end soon enough anyway, as soon as Trace stops talking to us. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Charlie? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely got to try to take him on. Haha, <laughs> jeez, Charlie Jr., you're ready for a battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? All right, then. You're gonna. You're, you're making me want to chew your eyes on. Shake these. Five potions, yay! I bought some for you with the prize money. I've been winning all my battles. Beat that Jimmy Lee and Charlie and just call yourself a true trainer. Give me your best shot. I should have named him Butter Butters, because that's basically who he is. <laughs> Either way, uh, since there's a Pokemon gym coming up. Know what that means? I'm going to be doing some grinding. So with that being said, we're all done here. And, you know, I will see you all next time for part four of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.